City of San Diego is in budget season when it sets funding priorities for the next fiscal year. Among those vying for support, the San Diego arts and cultural community, which had been hit hard during this pandemic, is now very concerned public support diverted during the pandemic may not return. And joining us now is Christine Martinez, representative for the San Diego arts and cultural community. Christine, welcome. Thank you both for having me. Christine, if we could just start out with uh, what is the assessment in terms of how the museums and the galleries are doing right now? Well, it's no secret that the pandemic really affected everybody, every industry throughout San Diego, but specifically those museums and live events, things that really brought people together, which is really part of the fabric of being a San Diegan is going to these great events. Those doors were shut, but in addition to that, our budget was cut as well. So we're really, really hoping to get to pre-pandemic pre levels so that we can not only get the doors open, but get these programs out and, and bolstered again. We have seen countless examples of how art, music, performance helped us get through the pandemic, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, because this has been such a tough time. How do you get the message across that that continues to be important even as we start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with this pandemic? Well, luckily, I don't think it's a hard message to sell. Uh, like you said, we all have a personal experience with art and culture. I mean, uh, we're so fortunate to live in San Diego and be able to have all these amazing programs. I think specifically to even my own experience with my daughter. She's a 12 year old and she does junior theater. And for two years, they weren't able to have a performance. And she'd probably kill me for saying this, but it was you know, it's a way for her to get out and for her to overcome some shyness. These programs are so much more about exactly what they're teaching. It's all these other lessons that they're teaching. And I think it's just really important to get back to that so that we can have these shared experiences together. Christine, I'm sure you've heard it before that there are just other pressing issues. We're talking about homelessness and housing, affordable housing. Uh, how do you counter that argument? Well, I don't think it's a either or. I think no one would say that we shouldn't help with homelessness or help with affordable housing or cleaning up our streets, but we can't have one without the other, right? Our uh, people come to visit San Diego. We have tourists because of the great arts and culture programs. It's really what makes our city one of the best in the United States. So. If we don't have that piece, then, you know, so many other pieces fall out of place. Christine, can you give us a sense of exactly how much money we're talking about here so people, taxpayers understand what they may need to look forward to in terms of helping? Well, the number way I can have people help is really to reach out to their council members. I mean, this is a critical time for us. Um, it's the time where later on in the month, the, the mayor will be um, showing his budget. And we really want the people to tell the city council how important it is to them. Um, not only do we want you back out in the museums and the galleries and the field trips, we want you to tell your city council members and your mayor how important these programs are for you. We're talking about millions of dollars, but we're also talking about an economic impact of, you know, 36,000 people throughout San Diego work in arts and culture. So it's their jobs, it's their livelihoods as well. And the more we support those programs, we support those people in our entire community. And San Diego recognized as the Center for Arts and Culture. We've been speaking with Christine Martinez, representative for the San Diego Arts and Cultural Community. Christine, thank you so much for your time and your insights. Thank you.